And welcome to a very special Gagoot Show. It's going to be a good one, you guys. We've got a lot of craziness going on tonight. We have improv. Um, our guests tonight that are joining us are Pat Marone and Sarah Quinn. So already you know it's going to get silly. Um, we, uh, we want to discuss a few things before we get the show started. Like last night uh, was the hospitality ball at the Crest Hollow that I attended, and so did Madhouse TV. And it was a huge turnout. There were so many people there. If you had a chance to go, then you knew it was awesome. If you didn't, you missed a great time. Um, other than that, we have some shows coming up together, you and I. Yes, we do. Yeah. We, have, uh, we have a show tomorrow, but the show I'm really excited about is the show we talked about, when we, the Gagoots Road Show. Yes. The Gagoot Show Comedy Road Show. Yes, and that's going to be and at the Clarion Hotel. Yes, the Clarion Hotel, and it's... Uh, June 19th. June 19th, uh, 8.30, Friday. It's a Friday, and it's uh, it's presented by Gateway Comedy. Right. Gateway Which, Comedy. You know Mike Dillon. <laughs> Mike Dillon, who's Hello. watching. Hello. <laughs> so it's, it's going to be a great show. We have... Uh, Robin Siegel Lakin, who's been on the show. She's, she's been. She actually helped host uh, like a couple of. No, she didn't host. She, no, she yeah, was, uh, no. One time she. Yeah, did. I one think time, one time, time she, time. she sat in with us. She yeah. was one of. And uh, yeah, Robin Siegel, uh, Sheila Smiley, who will be on the show on our show. Yeah. And we're going to show a clip of hers, uh, not tonight, and uh, John Santo. Yes, he was on our show also. Our fir very first, first guest. Show. Our very first show. He does really great impressions. Great impressions. Um, and our show tomorrow is at, on the waterfront uh, at 7.30. And Benny will be hosting. I'll be on it. Sarah Quinn actually will be on it as well. Um, it's going to be a good show. Hopefully it's going to be a fun get show. everybody down. We have uh, Steve Lazarus, who's headlining, right? Who right. Else is on the show? Mike so, Keegan's on it? Right. I owe him 50 to, bucks. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> what, for taking you to the wedding? Yeah. <laughs> I, had to pay, I had to pay him to go to a wedding with yeah. you. <laughs> and Tim Thompson. Yeah. Oh, good. So, yeah. Oh, it's going to be a wild and crazy show. Yeah. So we have um, some stuff that we want to go over a little bit now, too. We don't have any video... Um, we don't have any video entries from anybody yet for our contest. No, right? not yet. Okay. So We're we... still waiting on that. All right. Well, we'll get them. We yeah. I, Am I allowed to try out for it? Sure. You want to make a video? <laughs> am I allowed to make a video? I think the only it? person who shouldn't be allowed to enter a video would be me. I don't want to enter it. Yeah. Right, but you, you can. Like All right. You want to make a video? I don't need to win. I just want to make one just to be silly and have fun. Yeah. Okay. Make maybe, a nice silly video. Maybe me and Sarah will make a dub smash. All right. Have you ever see those? Yeah, yeah, I've seen them. If you don't know You're what dub smash is, it's like it's words or song or whatever that makes you look like you you are lip syncing what it is and you act out whatever the scene is or whatever. I, you'll see it when I make it. Or go to my <laughs> Facebook and become my friend and see all my videos because they're awesome. But um, I can also uh, bring my camera and yeah. just let it run and you and Sarah can do whatever you want. Whatever you want. That's creepy, yeah. Benny. You know, you, I'll just bring my camera and you and Sarah could just, you know, do whatever you want. It would be creepy if we didn't, since we started this show, we've done video. I'm just kidding. We've I'm done. Kidding. We, we haven't. A lot of people are uh, have said to me, what happened to the videos we did? Like we did the, yeah. the uh, singer, the street performer. The street performer. We did him. We did Alfredo Gagutz used did, to be on. Um, Josephine Gladstein. Josephine Gladstein, a yeah. couple of those. Yeah, and the, and the Nijoli. Nijoli. So we got to get some, some other ones coming up and going. They'll be coming up. We'll have it. And our friends from Jersey, the Jersey oh, boys, yes. are working on videos for us. Yeah, we're actually, I spoke with uh, Andy Julia today, who's not feeling good. So if you're watching, we love you, feel better. Um, but we're trying to get some stuff mm -hmm. going to see if they could come down either June like late June or July, and start working on some videos and match up because it sucks that they're all the way out in Jersey and we're here and to get us together you gotta like plan a month in advance. <laughs> well, they uh, they plan to come in July at the end of July to come yeah. on the show. Right. So maybe we could do something, and we are trying to work out doing comedy shows with them. Right. 
So if our comedy, if our Gagooch show road show works out great, we could do another. Then one. we could do another one on a Saturday night. Yeah, maybe they have a hookup in Jersey where me and you could go out to Jersey. They do. Chris yeah. Chris Hayes yeah, he says. said that you know they they have a room out there that they work with. So you know we'll see what we got going on. Um, mm. In the meantime, we're gonna take a quick break, and uh, we'll be back with our guests Sarah Quinn and Pat Marone. You're watching the Gagooch show on MadhouseTV.com. in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We also do pain management and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multimedicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff who treat an array of conditions from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel. We treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over we do 15 years. We vast array of diagnostic testing from x-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is. Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight thoracic and cervical musculature, and Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching doing it to help her with her pain. Vicki is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Vicki is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained. find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy, please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000 or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com. And we're back with uh, our special guests, Pat Marone and uh, Sarah, Sarah Quinn. Quinn. Hey. Wait, you thought I forgot her name? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, you're getting a little updated. I get that age. old I'm age getting, hesitation yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> choking your chicken too much, baby? Yeah. Too much choking of the chicken. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> you expected something else. Oops. <laughs> yeah. one would have burped that time. Um, so what's happening, you guys? What's going on in your world? Nothing. Everything's good. We had a good show the other night uh, at the Villa Monaco. Yes, we had did. Fun. You had a great set that night. Thank you. That was uh, you did. I, I was tired. You did about eight minutes there, yeah. and um, we had Les Deegan and John Consoli on the show with us as well. Yeah, they were great. They were, everybody. You everybody. were great too. Thank you. Great host. Thank you. I, that was, Food was great. I was comfortable that night hosting. I, yes. was, I wasn't at first. I was nauseous the entire night. I was very nervous for some reason or another. I don't know why. And then all of a sudden I went up and I was fine. But we had about, what, 25 people there? Yeah, and, maybe about 30. Yeah. And I thought there was going to be more, but the Ranger game was there. on. And for 30 people that showed up during the Ranger game, they were a great audience. They were very enthusiastic and just a lot of fun. It's a great room for comedy. Thank you. Oh, it is a great room Really, for I like it. It's nice, yeah. Yes. Yeah. We had fun. Yeah. And uh, you, 
Good seeing your father. You know? Oh yeah, he knows you a yeah. long time. I've known this guy a long time. Like, <laughs> well, yeah. All right. So before uh, we went to break, um, you and I were talking about um, having them come on. You mentioned Stevie GB, and now you said to Sarah that she, um, she, you and her both went to Stevie GB's show. Where was that? That was in. Uh, that was in Port Jefferson. Yeah, <laughs> that was in Port Jefferson. It took. 45 minutes to get a parking spot. Port Jeff was packed. That's Great awesome. weather. It was packed. It was in a little theater in Port Jefferson. It was a nice little theater. Sold out 75 people, oh, I think you said it Yeah. 75 people. Sold out. Really. And it was a nice, intimate show. His good. His daughter came out playing the ukulele and oh, did really? a comedy thing with the ukulele. Oh, that's cool. So the, and I then didn't the, know that he had a daughter that got into uh, being silly on a ukulele. I think this was her first, uh, was this like one of her first shows, Sarah, do you know? I don't think so, but she lives in Florida, and right. her band is called the Forever Ever, for Forever and Ever, as I mean. The Forever and Ever. Yeah. This is the song that never ends, <laughs> goes on, sorry. And it, but it was fun, and then the comic who went up before Stevie was uh, Jack Simmons, and very funny, he was a headliner 30 years ago. Okay. When my friend Steve that I talk about all the time, Steve Oaks, he was a, Steve was a house MC in a comedy club in Patchog, and Jack used to headline there on occasion. And I got to know him, and so when Stevie told me, I hadn't seen Jack in 30 years, and it was great to see him. Oh, that's and cool. And he was very funny, and he has a great uh, song that he closes with. It's I gotta going, check it out. He tells people, I live on Long Island, so the song is, I'm living on the island. And he's got the glasses and the Hawaiian lays, and he does it. He's very silly. 30 years, still a silly he man. He brings props with him? Those props and a harmonica. Oh, okay. And Speak, speaking of props, what's up with that hat, Benny? Well, I didn't. Usually I do my hair, so I didn't. So if you Today saw my hair. hair. I always rip on Benny for his hair, because it's always like little alfalfa sprouts hanging about. But today... Yeah, you want to, Take it off. Show them what you got. <laughs> this is what I got, yeah. <laughs> and these two girls in Pathmark yesterday, my hair was, I said, my hair's a mess. And the girls told me, and this is a new term now, she said, your hair looks very feek. Oh, no, is she didn't the, say that to you. No, she, no, it was, it, the word is fleek. Fleek. Okay, and that word needs to die, a slow, miserable <laughs> yeah. death, because it's the worst word I've ever heard in my life. They're 17-year-old girls. They're stupid, is what they are. <laughs> yeah. They're yeah, dumb. Leak. What hair? Yeah. <laughs> she said I look very fleek. So I asked the other girl, is she insulting me? Fleek. No, that's a compliment. It's a stupid compliment. It's a compliment. So whatever. But that's young people. It's the you? thing. I don't know what it is now. I don't I get me so angry. I'm so bad about it. They, your eyebrows are on fleek. That's where it started. That's what they were telling me. Yeah, they were saying your eyebrows are fleek. Your I didn't eyebrows understand. are fleek. I'll give you fleek. <laughs> With uh, me it's cool and it's and it's eh. It's either you, you, you look stupid. cool or you look... I hate these new stupid. It's stupid and I hate it. It's because I'm not young enough to say it. <laughs> to say fleek? Yeah. I think, I think your eyebrows look fleek. <laughs> they do, yeah. Very fleek. Fleek. <laughs> very anyway. fleek. I'm, I'm very fleek. I'm wearing my... This is a warm jacket if you want to wear this. I'm okay, cold. thank okay. you. Now, yeah, no, she doesn't want to wear it. Now I know why Rob Chiaffi wore the blanket in here yeah. when he was here. It's chilling. It is cold yeah. in here. <laughs> so real quick, to bring back around the conversation of Stevie GB, you said that he was inspired to make a, a DVD. He was, because he said when he was on our show, when we interviewed him, one of the questions was, you've been doing comedy for over 20 years, how come you never made a CD or a DVD? Right. So after the show, he got to thinking and said, said uh, you know, I'm going to do that. So he had uh, three cameras there, and they were taping him. And uh, it's called, the show was called, This Is My Life. This is my life now. This is my life now. So he actually recorded it that night? Yeah. That night. Oh, so that live was just, studio. So it was oh, a live awesome. taping. And a sold out <laughs> show, live taping. I thought he just mentioned this to you when he saw when he saw you. I didn't realize that it was that actual night. Yeah, no, it was a, he had uh he told me uh like a week or two afterwards. He put it on Facebook oh. and then he told he says uh I thank the Gagoot show because he says the Gagoot show asked me about this. So That's sweet, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> So he was inspired, and he made. A, so it was a live taping, and that's why we went. Nancy wanted to go, 
And Stevie, I want to thank you for the tickets too. Thank you very much. How do my eyebrows look? Oh, those are dashing. How do you yours, Sharon? Why? You look like Elton John. Elton John with those, yeah. There you go. We got those. Wait, these are Benny's eyebrows. Oh, now your eyebrows are really on the There they are. Those are on fleek. We're on. In case you guys are I look a little like Stevie GB since we're talking about it now. I just don't have the bow tie. A little bit there. We're going to get into some improv tonight, you guys. We're going to get silly on the YouTube show. We got rubber chickens. We got hats. We got wigs. We got glasses. We got everything. We got categories and a hat we're going to pick from. And we're just going to get totally silly and just show you what we get to do. <laughs> Benny's already started with his safari hat and this jacket. And you that Jeannie Powers loves oh so much. <laughs> And um, oh, we're going to get a little crazy in a little bit. So before that, we're going to take one more break, and then we'll be back with some craziness. You're watching The Gagoot Show on MadhouseTV.com. <laughs>
We're back on the Gagoo Show. Hey. What do you think? You think my hair's looking fleek? Or oh, what? super fleek, super fleek. Much more fleek He's than a yours. Super fleek, super fleek. Hey, you really look like Benny now. Hey, yeah. Hey. <laughs> so we're all in here. We're going to start out with a little bit of this, a little bit of that. We have a hat. We're going to pick some names out of it, not names, but categories, scenarios. And we're going to act them out and see how they go. So, Benny, since you're closest to the hat, you pick the first one out. Okay. Or should I say Alfredo Goulds? Alfredo Goulds. American Idol audition. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right. All right. So. All right, I'm going to be one of the judges? Yeah, I'm going to be a judge, too. Okay. Judge. Just I'm going to uh, I'm going to be the contestant auditioning. All right. I'll take the mustache off. I wait to judge you to get you gonna audition over there. Hey, you're a judge. Yeah. Judge. Yeah, you're a judge too. And I'll come. I'll have to be so the cameras got me right. I'll be like this. I better take this off. Yeah. All right. All right. Now, um, what is your name? <laughs> My name is Buddy Holly, ma'am. Buddy Holly. Okay, yeah. what are you going to um, perform for us today? I'd like to perform an original composition I just wrote. All right, give it mm -hmm. a go. All my love, all of my kissing, you don't know what you've been missing. Oh boy, oh boy, don't, oh boy. I mean, it's still new in progress. All my life I've been awaiting, today there'll be no mess. Hesitate, no oh boy, oh boy, yeah, when you're with me, oh boy, boy, the world can see that you were meant for me. And I do this, I call it the duck walk. All my life, I've been waiting. Okay. Um, um, that was very enthusiastic of you. Don't quit your day job. He doesn't mm. seem to like it, is what like he's saying. All. He doesn't like it. Like you're horrible. I do it with an accordion too. You want to hear? Ding, 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 All of my love, all of my kiss, and you don't know what you've been miss. I think you're an embarrassment to Italians. Um, I'm gonna give you a no because I do like your enthusiasm, but I think you're a little bit older than what we're looking for here, and um, nobody even knows that song. So if you could just not. So no for me. Yeah, that's a no for me. That's a no for me too. Sorry. Well, thank you. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for right. coming. Okay. okay. Uh, you won't. Oh. That was going right. to be another contestant. <laughs> Let's see what we got going on here now. Pick a pick a pick a. That was something. Oh. Else. The Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> the Godfather a, is a, a bikini dog. waxer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. What do you need? <laughs> I want to come in here. Hi. Um, I'm looking to get a bikini wax. I thought maybe there was a way that you could help me out, sir. Um, um, do you think you could do something about this? I'll tell you, my day when I was a kid, that was in. What um, do you mean? This? Yes, that was in when I was a kid. Oh. But uh, I can help you out there. I can make you an offer you can refuse. Oh, good. But, um, uh, but also, in this offer, are you going to help remove some of this? I don't think there's enough wax out there to <laughs> use for that, but uh, maybe I got something for you. Yeah. You think this is... <laughs> all right, all right, all right, forget it. I'll go somewhere else. Thank you. <laughs> all right, next. Uh, Sarah. Sarah, pick a hat. <laughs> pick a hat or pick out of the hat? Pick a hat. Uh, pick, pick a hat, hat any hat. Pick a hat, any hat. All right, oh, let's see. What will the fortune bring? Irish leprechaun gambler. Irish leprechaun. Anybody? Irish leprechaun. I can do an Irish voice. Yeah, do it. Yeah, do an Irish voice. I'll do it. I'm an Irish. Yeah. Let me read it, please. Can I, I? I have no idea what I'm talking about here. Huh? What? What, 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 what does it say? You're an Irish leprechaun. I'm an Irish leprechaun. You're a degenerate gambler. I'm a degenerate gambler. And you're against your luck. Your luck is over. I'm down on me luck. Could you help me out? Could you help me out? I'm a leprechaun, and I lost me pot of gold. Well, where'd you lose it? Do you, can, In, you, can you think back far enough to where you may have placed it? Yes, Caesar's Palace. <laughs> oh, I thought maybe I, at the end of a rainbow, but okay. Well, the the rainbow was pretty bright over there in Caesar's Palace for a while. I was doing good. 
You, well, your luck is over now, huh? Me luck is over. Well, how much did you lose? Well, by today's standards, I would say about enough to run a small country. <laughs> <laughs> and you got your hat on backwards. <laughs> You know what, the leprechauns, we always have a hat on. <laughs> Us leprechauns, we always have a hat on. Some people think we have three legs. Ooh, we have a three-legged leprechaun. It's a tripod. All right. Well, so, sir. And uh, could, could you spare a drink? I, I would like a little nip of... Uh, I think we can... A little, little nip? A <laughs> little, little nip. <laughs> well, you thank go, you very sir, much. There you go. You know what? Uh, I told my wife that I was going to go for Irish takeout, and she said, why can't you say be a distributor like everyone else? <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> thank you for helping right, me well, out. You pick out a hat. I'll pick out a hat, but I get, uh, you have to read it because I don't have my glasses. All right, on. I'll read it for you. <laughs> You have to dance around naked. <laughs> <laughs> Two old ladies You'll get discuss down. their ailments. All right. All right. Two old yeah. ladies just. Should we be the old ladies or we should make them be the old ladies? And we could all be old ladies. Why don't you two do the. All right, we'll all be old ladies. We'll all be old ladies. Yes, let's all be right. old ladies. Grand you got to wait for me. <laughs> you want this one again? No, that's it. I'll take that one. Is this yours, Sarah? Uh, no, I don't. Well, all I don't right. I, there's lots here. I'll do this one. Yeah, my kid. Oh God! Oh God! Oh, oh! I gotta, eat, I gotta eat into this one. Make sure you don't oh. fart there, Sheila. Please. Oh. My ailment. You eat those oh. damn beans all I the know, time. I know it's the hemorrhoids, it's the beans. And I'm constipated. Oh. I don't have enough prunes. Joan, how's it going? You know, not too good. What I happened know. this week? It's, what happened? It's always something. You what know? happened now? Oh, what did you God. do? Is it your ingrown toenail? No, that was last week. Martha, where'd you get those glasses? Bruce Jenner. Oh, they look fabulous oh. on you. Oh. I told you to go to the doctor. Oh, I my God. To the what happened to you, Ethel? Ethel. <laughs> what are you... She's got a little Alzheimer's. I got here. a little problem here. <laughs> oh, God. We got to get you a better bra. I yeah. got to tell you. I got to tell you, my knees, I got the gout. I got that gout. Do you have it yet? The gout? The gout. Oh, she'll get yeah. it soon. Oh, Believe God, me, it's I so hate awful. Old age. I hate it. I had my hip replaced. I was at the doctor. They had to do another x-ray. They're doing this. Oh, they're doing that. I I'm on like 50 different medicines. I'm I losing friends left and right here. I can't go to one more funeral. My it's blood is gone. dropping. I'm wearing diapers now. What is going on here? Oh, God. How are your teeth? Are they still yours? They're like stars. They come out at night. <laughs> the well, only reason I'm here is because Harvey's home. He's retired now. Well, and he he farts more than he breathes. Oh God! You ain't doing too bad either. You know, I I gotta tell you guys, I'm just so sick and tired of feeling sick and tired. It's like everywhere I go, I'm in no. pain. I'm just yeah. You know, I went for the colonoscopy. Oh, the colonoscopy! And they'd make oh. you drink the stuff. Oh, and then you're the drinking stuff. it. And you want to throw up from oh. it, but then you're going out the other end. And then at the end, you got the gas. And then you got the gas. Oh. Then you got to rely on my son-in-law to come and pick me up. Oh. He's always 25 minutes late to everything. It's like I can't, you know, I, I love my daughter. I love my daughter, but she doesn't know how to pick up. I ain't got enough fiber in my how many diet. I'm constipated. Oh. I'm looking for prunes and everything. I know, I, I know. It. How many times has your daughter been married now? <laughs> what is that? I think that's the what? Irish gamblers back what is again. <laughs> He's back. No, my I, daughter, she's I been married I too many job. times. This is her third divorce, a third one. Oh, oh, I can't take my it. My hair, does it look fleek or what? Oh. <laughs> it looks amazing. Oh. It does. Did you go to that place, the one? The barber Oh, the she's, one. She's terrific. What That's the name get? of it, right? The one? The one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The one. The one. You know, I got to tell you, though, for an old lady, you look good. You still look oh, good. Oh, thank you. It's a nice thank dye job. You. I know you don't feel good. But I'm at trying, least you got it working for you. Look I'm good. I'm trying to keep young, you know what I mean? Do you dye your roots gray or is that natural? 
Wow. I can't see. I can't see. I've been trying to do the. Um, oh God! Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh God! Let me you see. see. I can't. I can't see these glasses. Uh, these are for you know for the far away. I can see close yeah. up. Come here. Let me. Oh wow! Yeah. You Isn't gotta get some... those. Are beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful Thank roots. You, yeah. Yeah. I go to the lemon tree. You know. They they are so cheap there. They, you know I what? Know. And you can't even see if they. They mess up because my you look at your eyes. Well, you you got those goofy glasses on. Well, I need these. I got the glaucoma and the cataracts. You're not driving. I got a winking. I got a winking. You got a cataract? Uh, <laughs> I caught your joke. <laughs> He's not a winking. It goes to be a cataract. You get it? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so funny. I love hanging out with you guys. Are you guys getting into a sister living yet or what? Well, my, you know, that daughter of mine who's on her fourth friggin' marriage, she's trying to get me in those assisted they living homes. They just throw us out. They want the your street. money. They don't want money. nothing. You take care of them your whole life. You put them through college. You give them money towards their wedding, towards their house. And what do they do? They put you right in our home. And they never come and visit. They don't anymore. come and visit. You gotta stay there playing pinochle with uh, with you guys. I mean, I like you. And bridge. And bridge. I always thought my kids, when they're little, you diaper them. So I figured when I got into my seventies, they'd return the favor. No, they don't do no, they that. Don't, they don't care. They don't want to take care of my diaper. They don't care about anything. These kids they just want money. They, they don't want... care. I seen your diapers. I wouldn't change them either. You seen his diaper? Yes. Well, it's a her. It's not her. <laughs> <laughs> you seen her diaper? Yes. It's very, very. Uh, she's got extra stuff ooh, going it's on. Terrible. In here. You gotta People see when she eats the pasta vas. Ooh. They're gonna think something. You tell them you see my oh. diapers. They're gonna think we're yeah, having one of them. Yeah, you girls. Who cares? This is this is your two thousand and fifteen. Huh? We have that. It's no big deal. So tired of men. I'm yeah. tired of men. I'm tired. Of I'm just tired. <laughs> Yes, you look. I'm you just. Look I look at really. Yes, I yes, do. Yes, yes. You little brat. Yeah, well, you know. You when, you look more, when you look as good as me. I eh? can't sit comfortably over no, here. You look so better. Oh. You look better. Yes. Oh God! All right. Well, you know at what? At least we can get to the movies half price. You, you know, know we got I we have a, we got the matinees. I like being that we're senior citizen discounts. I love the early bird specials. Yes, that's yes. right. The early mm -hmm. birds. You go in. You get a soup. You get a salad. I and you don't that, get coffee though. I don't understand why. I go to that you. place, Villa Monaco. You do? Oh, oh, that girl Nicole, she's such a sweetheart. Oh, I gotta oh, see her. Oh, I haven't gone great. in there yet. She's, she got funny hair now though, though. She does? Yes, it's very uh I don't know what it's like. It's she just, looks like one of those yeah. lesbians. Well, not no. She's not a thespian. Uh, oh. a, 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 a lesbian. A lesbian, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she no, she looks a little bit. I heard she went to lesbian boot camp. She Somebody. did? Yeah, that's what I heard. Well, as long as she gives great service, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> you know, as long the as... The coffee was cold. I that was the only thing. But oh. everything was terrific. Did they include Her the coffee? Her father's such a wonderful chef. You oh, know. yeah, I They're heard like that about that place. They've been there almost uh, like 40 years almost. Yes. 40 yeah. years? 40 years. That's almost as, uh, you know, when I was back in uh, my college days. Yes, yeah, terrible. Oh, those were the days. Those oh, were the days. The days. Oh, do you remember oh, what we used to do? Under the bleachers, under the bleachers. <laughs> the things we used to We uh, can't handle those things no. anymore. Now what goes on with these, these knees? Oh, you see what these kids do nowadays. The party and that we... Oh. Well, we knew how to party. These kids don't know how to party. She was a partier, let this me one, tell you. Yes. She was crazy. Yes. You can tell by the hair. You can tell by her, her voice. Look at this hair. That boy, she's been smoking cigarettes she's, since she's out of the world. She seems like she's I, had a little too much testosterone. I'm out of I'm out of cigarettes too. I was thinking of maybe quitting for an hour. Maybe you should. What you you smoke Chesterfields? Little... Chesterfields? Chesterfield. I can't I hear you. Chesterfield. Oh, okay. He wants to. She wants to feel my chest. That's what I thought he said. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? She's perverted this one. Look how low they're hanging. <laughs> she says, I'll help you with the diapers, but then when I'm naked, she don't want to help me with the diapers. Oh, what kind um, of friends are you? You got to see it when she takes her shirt off. They hit her knees. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so funny. I, and that's what them twisted around my neck. Jeez the left Louise. one's on the right one. Oh. Chase, Louise. 
Why are you so, so quiet? What happened to you? I don't know. I told you. It's just been are a, you rough, dentures, a rough Liz? days. And I can't even hear the things that are going on over here. Did I you stay in your kid's shoes? Maybe I'll come a little close. Oh, yeah. These are these I borrowed from my granddaughter. She doesn't even know it. They, they know. look they look amazing on nice, you. Nice. I like them, you know. You you look great though. You, you look, look like a great. retired you're so, basketball. You, you look so good. You look terrific. It's, you really do. You know, sometimes I watch those infomercials, you know, the ones Did you get you the know, cream? The one with the cream. Yes, for nineteen ninety five and everything. That's what you need to do. The cream is That's the best. The is that the, the preparation age? Well, it's like a preparation well, age, but it's too. organic. Now, I brushed my say. teeth with it once. My gum shrunk. Oh, my God. I, I thought it was the toothpaste. <laughs> you couldn't see. No, I can't you see. You can't read. No. Oh my God. Those glasses, Terrible. they look great, Terrible. but I know you're bullshitting us <laughs> with, the, with those lenses. They have very good lenses. They're, They're like Coke bottles. They are. How many fingers am I holding I, up? Two. Oh. oh, you look like you bought them at Elton John's garage sale. Benita, <laughs> <laughs> you're so funny. Bonita, you're so funny. Is that Benita? Is your name Benita? Benita? Benita. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Benita, nice to meet you. We all get together and you know, talk. It's oh, nice. It's, it is nice. You know what, though? I think it's time for us to... um. Retire, so we gotta let it go. Let <laughs> well, how much time do we got? Oh, uh, we got a few minutes there. We got plenty oh. of time. Well, no, we don't really because we're pushing 85 now. Oh. So we better hurry I up. I got one foot in the grave and the other on a banana peel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. We're back. You were great. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. I feel sorry I won't be around. Oh. Great old lady. <laughs> I'm going to be a great old lady once it happens. Yeah. Jason on vacation. Jason from Friday the 13th? That's you. Jason it's from the, Friday the 13th you, is babe. on vacation. You, Who's the, I'm doing Jason you on vacation? You can be Jason. Of course, Jason. Of Denny on and, vacation. And uh, who's going to be the hotel clerk? <laughs> Sarah, you're the hotel clerk. Oh, shit. Me? Okay. Someone can wear this. <laughs> What Benny was just wearing, right. if you want. All right, let's get. Oh, you want me to going. be? You got another. I'm gonna wear that. We're gonna dress you up here, Jason. On vacation. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna be the hula hoop dancer. Oh, okay. You are gonna be on vacation. Where's that thing? I can't believe I'm doing this, but it's we're doing it. We're really making it happen. We're here. making it happen. <laughs> we're, we're and none of this is rehearsed, by the way. No, anybody is listening to us out here. Absolutely. If you guys haven't turned <laughs> off yet, <laughs> well, this is all live. Like <laughs> oh, look at that. All right. And how's everybody doing out there in TV land? You know, why they're all getting dressed? Is everybody doing good out there? Yes, yes. <laughs> Where's my dagger? Besame. <laughs> Besame mucho. Uh -huh. You have my dagger? I Do I have your dagger? Where's yes, I have your, your dagger. Where's yeah. your coconut, boo babe? Here's your dagger. What happened? All right, Jason, get your, get your stuff together, Jason. All right, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's okay. All I don't right. know what that... Oh, they might be behind that pillow, are they? Okay, so I'm the clerk. No. Okay. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. Na, 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 na. Uh, uh, Benny, why we're young? We're not doing the old scene anymore. Hi. Are you checking in? I have a reservation. Yeah, uh, what's your name? Jason. Jason, mm, for room 34? All right, I'll check you in. I've Maybe. been here before. That room doesn't face the ocean. Can oh. I have the I see Mike Myers is here. Jeez, you're getting Let me a have little his testy. Room. Do not get a little testy. How about Freddy Krueger waiting? Freddy Krueger's okay. room. Okay, I see. All right, well... Just go up. There's going to be some uh, entertainment down the hall. Enjoy. Thank you. 
Oh, wait a minute. single? <laughs> yeah. I'm new in town. Could you take me around? Maybe we'll go out for a bite to eat? <laughs> as long as it's not me that you're going to eat. No, no. It's going to be the girl who was behind the desk. But I'm a vegan. <laughs> then you can eat her, uh, you can eat the <laughs> peanuts in her pocket. Okay. They're covered you with you're blood. not going to kill me, right? I'm not going to kill you. I'm supposed to keep dancing. They're not supposed to let me stop dancing until after. My, my shift so please, just, just, can you just go away and change that mask off one for the date? I can't take the mask off. Why? Ah! Me no speak the English. <laughs> me no habla español. Me habla español, me no speak the English. I'm not going to hurt you, buddy. Ah, oh, good. You're Mexican, right? Si. Sí. You know where I could get some weed? Eh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, look, okay. how did Nicole? <laughs> she died by seeing my face. Yeah. Uh, when, when are we going for a commercial break? We're going for one right now. I don't know. Are we? Yeah. We'll be right back on the show. <laughs> You're watching us on MadhouseTV.com. <laughs> Stretching under sedation or manipulation under anesthesia is a very gentle, very precise procedure to very slowly release any scar tissue that is formed as a result of a traumatic injury. Many people ask, how does this work? Will I get hurt? Will you stretch me too far? We only stretch the body part to its normal range of motion. After completing the post-MUA rehabilitation program, it's very common that our patients say to us, hey, I can play ball with my kid again. Hey, I can bowl again. Hey, I can enjoy hiking again. This is what makes it rewarding to us as practitioners. Being a fireman is more than just putting out blazes and giving kittens CPR. Sometimes my duty demands I fan the flames, like when a call comes in from a lady who needs immediate assistance. Maybe she needs help with that computer thing. Maybe she wants to go antique. Could be as simple as understanding that walking in heels is... It's hard. Aussi simple que l'été dernier à Paris. C'est sympa. Maybe it's ladies' night in, and she wants a simple, delicious recipe for margaritas. Twist. First, a can of limeade. Now hold on to this. You'll be using it. Side note, kittens make everything better. Next, add water. Now, a bottle of light beer. It's not, shh, trust me, I'm a professional. 
And last, and most important, Salsa Blue Tequila. Now, you mix it up. Ole. Yes, that's what I'm trained for. Whether it's to help her choose leggings or pants, telling her leggings are pants, or discussing leggings and jeggings versus pant pegging at her next ladies night in, I'll come to the rescue. Don't call me a hero. Just call me. Let me know what time. Like, what are you gonna get? I don't know. I've never even been here and I can't believe you chose this as a restaurant. What is your deal with this place as a restaurant? I just, they like have nothing I can get. Hello ladies, how are you? Well, can I take your order please? I'm um, not ready. Yeah, neither am I. Can you please give us a minute? You want me to uh, give you a little time? Please? Can you maybe bring us some water or like something? We're parched. We've already been here like 30 seconds, so. Okay, I'm sorry. You need to not be so aggressive, okay? Because. Okay. I'll come. No. We're discussing something. Can Why don't you, you try the chicken? All right, fine. Bring us the chicken. Why are you always so mean to everybody? Because I can't even, okay? God. People. You're really annoying today. Thank oh, you. Oh, my God. What is that? There's a Ew. hair in my chicken. Oh, it looks like the chef's mustache. And what exactly is this? That's a chicken. That's a chicken. The chicken oh, franchise. You see God. the lemon on there? It's the chicken franchise. That, that is, is alive. That is still squawking at me. Listen, I know cooking the me. chicken. This is squawking <laughs> at me. I know cooking the chicken. I oh get you the God. chef. I get you the chef and that's it. Can you please remove this from my I'll table? Get you Can the you chef. please get this out of here? Get please. away. What? Get it out of here. What does seem to be the problem? Your chicken you is brought, disgusting. You brought us a chicken that's alive. I ain't choking that chicken myself. And that chicken I mean, is disgusting. You have I to would, at least cut the head off and the feet for starters. I do you even understand? Do you even understand that we are gluten free? We are allergic oh to all sorts of vegetables and um, flour and peanuts and anything that we could be allergic to in a restaurant. We pretty much are. So all we ask for is grilled chicken, and you brought us that. There's no flour, there's no gluten, none of this is chicken. Okay, you American girls, you can get mad about it. Every American girl, you gotta, oh, everything gotta be so perfect. Oh, my husband gotta have a million dollars. Everything I eat, it gotta be so nice. Is this guy for real? You I know, can't. in my family, my grandmama, my grandmama, rest in peace, she used to eat everything. She used to eat the feed, the beak. That's why this chicken has no beak, because I ate the beak. That's a delicacy. That's a, like a potato chips in my country. Like a and potato then, chips in your country? Um, excuse what me? is he talking about? <laughs> the Even beak. On the, you got a problem with this chicken? I mean, I yes. basted this chicken myself. I choked this chicken. Well, maybe you could go and baste it somewhere else. Can you bring us something else to eat? Yes, I got like something that. very nice for you. You two young American girls, you... You wait right here. I'll be right back. Please. I got something very nice what for you. What goes on here? Give me those. I'm like, I would apologize, but it's oh, like I almost, it's God. like I love to hate you so much and I wanted to bring you somewhere that you would freaking really if totally. If only you knew. Like, I'm totally going to yelp this, okay? 
You're getting a bad review. Do you have your phone on you now? I think so. Uh, I don't know. This is, this is ridiculous. Tell them that that chicken was alive and there was hair. It was alive. There was a mustache on that chicken. I saw that. It was gross. Oh. What do you want? You still got a problem with the food? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Well, tough of luck. What can I tell you? That's a guy, he put, you tell you want a grilled chicken, he put it on the grill and What the hell is this? <laughs> is this Rainforest Cafe? Because I am not down. I don't know. Please go away. Is this part of the act? Is this part of like the like the motif of this restaurant? Like, there. I. <laughs> Can't someone just... I don't know. Please, but I, I hate Rainforest Cafe. Rainforest I can't believe Cafe you brought me here. Is the world. Ugh. There's always like animals and stuff in it. It's like that's so unsanitary. It's like, you know what? The animals that they brought us was alive. And then they dress up like fake animals. I like, no I don't idea. understand. Scusa, scusa, Bella, scusa. Oh, you got a problem with everything in this restaurant. So, I'm a bringer the owner. He's going to come in and talk to you. And everything is going to be nice. Vito! Don Vito! Better car! That's ridiculous. How do you nice young ladies doing? You disrespect my restaurant. You know, my chef is trying to do the right thing, and you guys are disrespecting it. Have a little more class, you know? There was a gorilla that attacked us. <laughs> yeah, were you like blind? <laughs> God. I'm getting up there in age, and we don't have no gorillas in the kitchen. It might be one of our. Uh, uh, dishwashers. It could have been a dishwasher. We just got a new guy in there. <laughs> this place is probably... Well, I already put in a battery. Listen, video, I'll give you so. a bottle of wine and a little antipas. You bet. I Can hope you bring so. us yes. that? Because yes, we really, please. really, really like it. Okay. You know, you seem like you're a nice guy and stuff, but, like, we would really appreciate, like, something that was, like, cooked and not, well, like... I like, I like you to take care of the chef and talk nice to the chef. He's going to fix you something nice now. All right. Well, maybe All just right. don't ever bring him by us again, and we'll be nice because he won't be here. And you guys look like, you girls look like very pretty ladies. We are Thank really you. pretty ladies. Yeah. We're on an MTV reality yeah, show. We are. Yeah, Have you ever fleek. seen it? Yeah, it looks very fleek. Thank you. Thank you. Your hair looks... Your hair does look sleek. I gotta say, I gotta admit, he's right on that one. It does make me feel it does. A little better. You look really good. It does. Yeah. Wait, wait, can we take a selfie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, come, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> wait, just like, I need an angle. Your freaking hair is in my feet. Just like two more. <laughs> okay. That's a funny looking camera. Yeah. It's All right. brand we liked new. you five that seconds ago, so like, don't okay. insult us, okay? All right, I'll send the chef over again. He's gonna take your order. Thanks. And, uh, have a nice night. Thank you God. too. Doesn't he sound like that, like, that movie that like all Italian people really like? And I don't it was know. like, I think it was like pretty famous at one point, but like, I think I know. I can't I remember the name them of it. Me neither. It sounds kind of familiar. It sounds actually kind of stupid. It's, it's not as popular as our show on MTV. No, so. our show is the best show. Like, people yeah. need to see everything we're doing, and that's why we're on it. Obviously. Obviously. Is this chef gonna come back with something good, or is he just gonna be like a total wank? I don't know, Becky. This is crazy. I think he's a total wank. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, John. I hope that they bring it because it otherwise... doesn't seem like they're coming back. Like, and, and you know what? And for furthermore, like, I don't think I'm coming back. Like, I, I don't, don't want to come back should. to this restaurant. Like, we're not paying for that meal. Like, I'm not and paying no, for that. No, he said he'd bring it. He didn't say we had to pay it. Well, that we, is like for leave? an apology. Should we? I need. I'm like, oh my god. Do you think I should grow my hair out? I don't know. Like, this it's, is really cute. Like, really cute. It's so cute. short like right curl. now. It's, like, so, it's so short. You can get extensions, you, you know? think? Yeah. God, I just want it to be long. It's, like, I can't believe how short it is. Whatever. Whatever. Going right. So, This is um, the worst Friday, like, ever. I haven't had a bad Friday like this since that time we were at that I, party. Oh, and my then, God. Like, that thing happened. And, like, Nancy, do you remember? Oh, my God. She oh, was M totally G. crazy that Hashtag night. Can't she even. was like dancing up on the tables and stuff, and I was like, "Bro, what are you doing? Stop I that! Know. Nobody wants that." So, anyway, can we never do know. this again? Can we? Yeah. Can we? Pinky promise we'll never do okay. this again because I hated it. 
All right, you're the best. Me too. Hate you. Anyway, um, thanks. We're done now. <laughs> Five minutes. So. Five minutes. We're off. Oh there. no! I ripped my earring out of my ear. Oh no! Okay. But the back's the one. Are we wrapping it up on the couch? Yeah, we're gonna wrap it up here. We're wrapping up wrap on the couch. Wrap it up. Wrap, wrap, wrap it up. Rip, 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 rip. Okay. That was interesting. That was, that was very interesting. <laughs> it was interesting. It got a little weird. Yes. You know. A little. Just a little. <laughs> just a little, just a little, little weird. weird. If everybody deletes me on Facebook, I'll understand. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Am I in too? Am I in? I, I gotta yeah. come around by oh, Sarah. Yeah, yeah, we don't there need you next to me. Yeah, there we you have go. to sit next to Sarah. This way I'm in the camera now. <laughs> we have the cameras on us now? Yeah, Pat, you can move a little bit. My, my hair I, can, is, I take up a little bit too much room on the camera. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. My hair we, we all have wig hair. We yeah, we all have wig hair. <laughs> we, we were wigging out tonight. Yeah. Well, you guys have hair. You know, that was fun. We wanted to do something different. We, we did. Had, we, were, we had a little bit of fun tonight. If you guys enjoyed it, if you laughed at us, if you laughed with us, if you laughed at for whatever reason you laughed at or if you just stood there and was like, if you said, look, Sure, sure look, they pick something different watch. every time yeah. I'm on the show. <laughs> the last time you had me uh, joking off with Steve. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah we and did now they... you got me doing this stuff. I mean, what do you think? Am I a clown? <laughs> Am I here to amuse what you? Here for your music? That's another mo Italian movie everybody watches. Oh, that's stupid. We got a tester. I'm the tester. <laughs> it was, you know what? We got to have fun. Yeah, 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 it's fun. Yeah. It's, it's different. We want to do something different we because. We try to do hey, things the a little yeah. different. I'm Benny. <laughs> you, guys got a, you guys got a great show oh, for tomorrow night. You guys yeah, Sarah's doing a Benny Rizzuti impression. Go ahead, do it. Go ahead. <laughs> That's right. Oh, now you're embarrassed? She said, look, do I'm it, Benny. Hi, I'm Benny. I'm Benny. Hey. I'm Benny. hey. <laughs> How you you're doing? You're on Madhouse TV. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing Alfredo Gugutz. Alfredo Gugutz. Alfredo Gugutz. He loves the youths. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm an old kitty or not. I didn't say that once. I'm an old kitty or not. Oh, you should have said that. I know. What was everybody? My favorite part was the old ladies. The old ladies were good, yeah. The yeah. Old were good. The old ladies were good. The Jason thing, kind of, you know. Yeah, the Jason thing we got screwed up in. But he's, well, Jason, excuse me. And you're me, a horrible Jason. guitar player, Benny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. my love. Oh, oh. my kiss. You, you, Horrible singer, too. You knew most of the words, though. You did. You knew most of the words. Anyway, we're closing up shop here on the Gagoot Show. We had fun. Thank you guys so much for coming. And, Thank you for uh, having us. We, uh, we'll be back next Tuesday, as we always are. Um, probably a lot more organized <laughs> and less props. So thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching the Gagoot Show on MadhouseTV.com. Good night. Have a great week, everybody. Enjoy. I might have lost my shot for a Jiffy Jeff after this thing. <laughs>